Oh, Shanti, everyone. Greetings to those of you that are here live and also greetings to those of you joining later on through the YouTube video. For those of you joining the first time, my name is Shailen and myself and my mother, we are students of the London Centre in the UK. And these chit chats are designed for students of the Brahma Kumaris, Moralis, to have a chance to chat about the Morali and go into a little bit of depth. In these last number of weeks, we've been commemorating two of our senior daddies, Daddy Gozar and Daddy Janki. And today is the final one of those um, sessions uh, in that series of commemorations where we're going to be watching one of Daddy Janki's classes from 2011 in London, where in fact she reads a letter that she got from Daddy Gozar. So, both daddies being remembered in a very interesting way. But before we go into that, uh, those of you that are here, welcome to you. And I wonder if any of you would like to begin sharing anything or asking anything. In, you know, brother, um, I've been thinking a while about karma and karma philosophy. I know you shared a bit. I didn't listen to your whole chat because I was listening just before you came on. And um, also in Baba's Murli, you know, and I was thinking, yes, in this book, we know what we have done, good and bad. Um, but in all the, the years and the cycle, we're not aware. And it is really finishing those, those karmic accounts. And I remember some years ago, I've now come into Baba's knowledge, um, there was this brother, I can't remember his name, um, he was a New York in Peace Village. And he had come, and I remember him doing um, an experiment where it is he was visualizing going through the entire cycle. And of all the souls that he would have met and asking, um, giving love and asking forgiveness. And I found that I was quite good. But recently, I have found within myself that, you know, there's so much that is happening. Um, I know drama is, is concluding. We don't know exactly when. And whatever stuff is there has to come up, has to come up. So it's just my thoughts that I'm thinking, you know, why, why for me, it's so much more important to, to focus on the self, um, trying to finish what is there. But the more I try to finish, I find that more, more stuff keeps coming up, you know? And sometimes it's not so, so, so easy. Um, and it's just being able to focus. And sometimes I'm unable to focus, you know? There's a lot that, that's still happening. I think in, in the project that I'm doing right now, um, it's settling down, but there are things that are still coming up. Um, so these are just my thoughts that, that has been going on in my head for the last few days in particular, with karma and, you know, it, it just comes up, things comes up and your thoughts are not always the best and you, you really have to refocus on, on, you know, I always say the thing of who am I, but that centers me, who am I and, um, what bubble wants from me at this time in the cycle. So I just felt I wanted to just share that, Shanti. Yes, definitely. This week, that topic of karma has been one of the main things. And it feels like we're reaching a point in the next few weeks where we should go back to that union carbide moment. Do you remember we read it a couple of times, the 10th mm -hmm. of December, 1984, when there was that chemical explosion in Bhopal and Baba had come especially, and he walks us through the dynamics of karma at this time of the cycle. And he's talking about how, because another theme this week has been the punishment in the land of Dharamraj as well. And so Baba is saying in that morally that not everything can be cleared in front of Dharamraj. It's more the personal sort of internal karmic accounts and today Baba was talking specifically about purity 
So the daddies used to talk about how we have to face Baba really as Brahmins um, as to how well we studied. So there's, you know, that Dharamraj for us is not really about settling all this other karma that we could think about as karma. It's more to do with how much did we use this opportunity now at Confluence Age. There's one morally in the 1970s where Baba actually says that there will be children. Why Baba explains so much in so many moralities is because the children shouldn't say at the end, Baba, we didn't know. Because it really isn't possible for any Brahmin to say that. And he said that if a child comes in front of their match and does say that, Baba will actually show them the scene of them sitting in the morally with the date of the morally that they are listening to, where Baba has explained that point to them. And so I think we've got to first of all understand that what is Dharma for for us Brahmins? It's not to settle the karma of 63 birds. Uh, today's morally is really clear about that. We will be facing Dharma to settle any karmic accounts we created after we became Baba's child. Um, Daddy Chandramani used to talk about how we become un indebted to the teacher. So if we continue to receive teachings and we're not paying for the morally, right? We don't have student fees um, for this university. And so we we are receiving these teachings for free. And then if we squander them, there's a karmic account of the sustenance we've received from Baba. So in front of Dharma, that's the type of account that Baba is going to take. And once then Jenki had also said that she thought that Dharma was just for the Brahman. He didn't feel that it would be for all the other souls of the world because they are all experiencing destruction without Baba's support the way we are. And so um, she didn't feel they would like be doubly punished. But th this is what we've got to understand there, that machinery of Dharma, what is it for? And so then in that morally of 10th December 84, Baba's explaining that the accounts with your body there's like collective accounts with natural planet, like the nature. There's accounts with other people. How will you settle those things in the land of that? So what Bab is explaining is karmic accounts are categorized. We, when we talk of karma, we sort of, it's like a big blob of karma. But actually, Bab is breaking it down. And he goes on in that more way to talk about that there might be karmic accounts that people have with their own mind. So it can come as mental weakness, mental health issues. It can be with our body, we can understand that. It can be then with other people, so we can understand that. And it can be more with a collective. So like that scene and many other scenes, lots of people settle in one go, don't they? I suppose the biggest one was the tsunami of 20 years ago, um, where I think 250,000 people all left the body all at once. So you got these collective karmic accounts also that came. So that is saying, how could all of that be done in the land of Dharma? So well, let's have a session in a few weeks when I return uh, from America, where we um, go back over that morally talk about karma in more detail. Mm -hmm. But let me just um, share some reflections here on like the situation you're describing and other things like that. But over the years for myself, I am drawing a distinction between the dynamics of the Iron Age, uh, karma, and human nature, Maya. So I think sometimes we as Brahmins just view everything as karma. And I'm not sure that's correct. So for example, 
where there are challenges happening in our lives, I don't see that as karma. Like mm -hmm. if I've got some sort of project, there's some obstacles coming, people are making mistakes, there's resource issues. And, and I think you will know that I'm a professor of public management and we train public managers. The first thing I say to all the students, they're like bright eyed and young and enthusiastic 22 year olds. And I tell them, hands up who wants to be popular. If you wanna be popular, you're in the wrong course because public managers are never popular. Your job is to take all the unpopular decisions. You will always be dissatisfying everyone because you're in a resource constrained environment. And then the politicians want you to deliver more for, and then give you less resources to do that. And that is the story of public management around the world. So in the IMA, we're dealing with dynamics where there aren't enough resources. So Baba draws that contrast of the golden age where you're governing in unlimited resources with all of the nature. So Baba says, you don't need ministers, do you? You don't need advice. It was like nothing to problem solve. So I don't see that as karma. I just see that as time. But there's dynamics of the iron, Baba says, the accidents happen. Um, people are going to behave in a very unpredictable way. Uh, in my mind, I translate the word tamod pradam as unreliable. And so I just understand tamod pradam means everything is unreliable. Everything is unpredictable. And so you can plan as much as you like. And I'm sure you will know that joke um, Brian Bacon used to tell it all the time when he did the SML courses, that how do you make God laugh? You tell him about your plans. So, you know, that's this thing, though. that's the iron age, right? And Baba, of course, tells us it's not really his plan, it's the drama plan. Uh, but as devotees, we think everything is God's plan, of course. So, first of all, I don't consider any of those problems and obstacles to be karma. I just think that's just the honor. And it doesn't matter how good your karma is, or you, you're a new soul that's just arrived from the soul world, you're still facing all of that because that's the honor. Uh, look at the stories of the religious father, such powerful souls in their karma keeps stage, but it's the honor, right? And, they're still facing all of the obstacles and we're at Easter weekend at the moment. So we know what happened to Jesus Christ. So, you know, I don't think it's to do with karma because you're going to face that regardless of it. And even if you're great soul, religious soul, new soul, that's the time. That's the dynamic. Then, the second thing I separate is Maya. And as you will know, I've begun to translate in my own mind the word Maya with human nature. And so there's an element when Baba says that you know, Maya deceives you, Maya challenges you, you're fighting with Maya. But it's like if we think of Maya, it's like in Bhakti, we think of the demons of outside or the devil is outside. But really, it's our own human weaknesses. That's the, it's the human failings. That's what deceives us. And so I don't think that's, again, anything to do with karma individually. It's more the collective human failings. So it's depicted in the Bible that Adam and Eve, they had that human failing, that first human failing where they ate the forbidden fruit and then they disobeyed God. And from that moment, we are all born with those human failings. And by the way, Baba puts it is that we shift from the pure birth to then being born through violence. And then immediately our body is deficient. It 
uh, is predisposed to fall ill, predisposed for untimely death, and so on. And the instincts of the body, because we look at, you can see it in nature programs. It's all about survival. It's all about competition. It's all about those instincts of fear, fear-driven behaviors. Runs right the way through nature. And Baba tells us that all began from the Copper Age onwards. Nature in the Golden Age and so on doesn't do, doesn't behave like that. But this is the sign of this is where Baba says half a cycle heaven, half a cycle of that. So these are the behaviors that are filled within our body because our body is part of nature. So any soul, even a new soul that comes from the soul world. In the proper and iron age, Baba says they can't be charitable souls. They can't be worship worthy souls because their body is not pure. Only the souls who have a pure body as well as the pure soul are charitable, pure worshippers. And so this is why Baba says you need the body as well because otherwise you're you are uh, inherently with those human failings. And so you could say that's like a collective karma. And Baba say, says that you were the children, you were the only ones around at the end of the silver age. So you are the oldest souls, you got the biggest burden of karmic attempts because you, the deities, came onto the path of sin. Uh, it's not you know, just Adam and Eve like that, but it's all of you as a community. You changed at that point, and nature changed at that point as well. So there's like it's inbuilt within nature. And then Baba says, even Maya goes from Sato to Rajo to Tamo. So even that is now in its most deceptive and unreliable phase. And then we've got Kant. I see that as like on top of. So we've got two things that are there as like a collective environment. We've got the environment of the owning. We've got the some scars running through nature. Um, we've got the human failings of mind linked with that. And then we've got our own individual karma. So how I think we should look at it is because Baba explains that karma determines just the next birth in the copper and iron age. And he gives the examples of someone opens a school, they get a good education in their next life, someone opens a hospital, they get good health, and so on. So that type of karma is only within the environment of the other two. And so it's not like you can then sh switch to the stage of ascent. So it's not like you can perform karma that then purifies you, karma that then liberates you. But you're still descending. But within that descent, you've got some temporary happiness, some temporary success that's coming into that. And that karma is very helpful. For Brahmins, there's a particular set of karma that's helping us, that makes us very fortunate souls. And that is the karma of the devotion of Shiva at the start of the copper. So Baba says that you are the only souls who performed unadulterated devotion of Shiva. And the fruit of that you didn't get in your next birth. The fruit of that you get now a confidence in. And you meet Shiva. You connect, you get access to Shiva. And he comes into your life as your father, your teacher, and your sub -queen. So that is like a deferred karma on half a cycle ago that comes back to us now. So every Brahmin is experiencing the stage of ascent. 
So that is all good karma that's kicking in at this time for the Brahmins. So this is why I'm a little reluctant when Brahmins view challenges and obstacles as this must be my bad karma. Because my perspective would be that Brahmins are experiencing their good karma at this time. But it's the end of the hour. So it is not possible for us not to have all the other challenges. Then what Baba says is that you do also have that burden of the other 63 mm -hmm. And for that, your good karma is giving you the chance to reduce them before it comes back to you. Uh, because ultimately, you've got to go back in your karma deep state. Mama used to say that so when it comes in her classes that the only honorable thing is to go back to Baba having become Kama. We don't want to be going up to Baba with a burden. She used to feel that is dishonorable. So this is why Baba's attitude will be, we heard it in this week's mornings, that should Baba doesn't view the settling of karma or someone uh, leaving their body as a negative. He just sees it as the soul setting. And if you're settling, that's good. But from a human perspective, that like we don't want to die, we would like to, like we don't want to suffer, like we got all those perspectives. So from that emotional perspective, we see that as a negative. But it's true that we are going to have to settle some things now, because even Baba and Mama did have to settle some things. They were not able to eliminate entirely the burden of karma without having to settle some things practically. But what Baba explains to us is you have to now transform that from a crucifix to a thorn. And it was one of the Sunday moralies, I would say about six months ago, I don't remember the exact date, but I think we're in the 92, 93, 94 revision seasons at the moment. And you might recall that it was after the morally, and we had watched the video, so Bedi Janki and Bedi Prakashwani they had not been able to attend Baba's Morley because they were both unwell. And then the following meeting, they didn't sit through the Morley, but they came after the Morley to meet Baba. And um, Baba met both of the daddies. And it turns out the daddy Prakashman would have had some issue with her heart at that time. And it was lovely to see the way that Baba was talking with her. And Baba just makes everything like light, no big deal. So he, when you watch the video, you actually get to see their body language as well. And they're communicating through that as well. So Baba's saying that to Daddy, well, this came, you had it changed, you dealt with, you had some rest. And what happened? Because you had everyone's blessings accumulate, everyone's yoga power. That thing that was like a mountain, it just went away like water, didn't it? And you and you can see Devi Prakashmani just smiling and just doing this, like something flowing, like a river. And that's when I understood what that would mean, that it became like water, meaning it came and it went. And you see, a mountain is permanent. So without that yoga power and without that accumulation of blessings, this is why Baba gets us to serve because we accumulate blessings that then help us. Um, what happens is it, it, for souls in the Iron Age, the karma comes like, it stands in front of them like a mountain. And because they don't have that yoga power, they don't have that accumulation of blessings, it's completely dominating. But for the Brahmins, what Baba is expecting 
is that our accumulation will mean karma comes and karma goes. It just flows away. And it's not remaining because we've transformed it from a mountain into water into a river. We have transformed it from a crucifix into a thorn. Now, a thorn does still hurt. So it still will make you bleed. And therefore, it will, it's not that as we settle the karma, there isn't any suffering. There might be pain in the body. There might be some emotional suffering in relationship. There might be some struggle with wealth and so on. But what that is expecting us to do is to carry on accumulating. And then more and more, we find that the stock of accumulation means that we're ending up in a karma feed stage where we're no longer emotionally suffering as we settle karmic accounts. So karmic accounts are happening. There could even be a lot of pain in the body, but the mind is remaining happy and peaceful regardless. So I'm very cautious for these reasons when Brahmins are sometimes attributing karma to situation that I just think are part of the I am. And Baba said, what did Baba say this morning? When, of course, he's probably saying it with a twinkle in his eye. Children say, Baba, tell Maya not to come. Reduce Maya from childhood. And Baba will say, Maya, go even more. Challenge them even. Test them even. What are you afraid of? You know, you're going to become championship boxers. You're going to be the Maharati. If someone claims to be your champion and they won't fight any rival, then what sort of champion? Is that they're like a false champion. So Baba will say, just now, in fact, before coming on, I saw uh, one of my cousins who put up a video on Facebook. They, in Gujarat, they built this huge statue of Hanuman because this week was the birthday of Hanuman. And they did a big unveiling of that in wherever they were in, in their back uh, And who is Hanuman? It's you. If this is your memorial, you brand. So Baba was saying, you just want these memorials for free. You don't actually want to earn them. And then you'll just come and be complaining to Baba, why is this kind? No. Baba's expecting us to approach all the challenges like a Mahavira, like a champion boxing, and say, I welcome the child. But sometimes when we think, this is my karma, I feel that there's a level where the Brahmins are feeling either heavy or they're feeling some level of the victim state. And even if that's very subtle, I don't feel it's the right way to think. And it's not champion. Do you want to come back? Um, no, not really. Yeah, it it makes sense. Um, but I always felt that you know karmas really have a lot in the past. Um, I understand yes, it's the Iron Age, but then even in the Iron Age, why would I experience something that I perceive as negative, and another person still doesn't have that? You see them maybe in the same situation. Um, but it doesn't affect them because they're not involved in it, you know? So I always, I always thought, well, I still do think that karmas, yes, will come to an individual and not to another because of, of karmic accounts, whether we believe what I've created in this current birth or even in the past birth. Um, what I like what you said is that, yes, in this Iron Age, um, attributed to the environment, attributed to the birth, um, there will be karmic accounts. We can't get away from that, whether we perform um, negative actions in the past. This, this Iron Age will bring us karmic accounts. And as you were sharing also, and going back home in the karmic stage, 
I know we would have cleared all karma, whether through Dharam Raj, whether through our settling. Um, but I know we will take with us what we have not changed um, is the sanskars, the negative, some of the negative sanskars that are still there within the soul that becomes dormant in the golden and silver age and it reemerges from copper age going forward. And, and I felt that that, that was a, a, a attribute that we had that contributed to the kind of karmas that we perform going forward from copper age. Um, because for me, I always felt that um, if we were all pure, if we go back all clean, where did this negative actions come from, from copper age going forward? Yes, the influence is there um, when we start performing actions because of the vices that, that comes in. But I always ask, but why did the vices come in? Um, for me, I always feel that the sun scars that were there, that I have not completely purified um, and became dormant is now re-emerging. So that if I have anger and that I didn't completely finish it, um, it will come back. And from the copper age, sometime something will trigger that within the soul. So yes, I, I, I agree that it is the environment that we are in um, will attribute um, negativity coming towards the soul, but also my son scars that are there within the soul. So those are my thoughts. We have uh, different perspectives. So firstly, um, why I think things are happening now is that it's all to do for Brahmins with the eight powers. So why a situation will come to me and not to you is because mm -hmm. there'll be a certain part of the eight powers that I need to develop. So at this time, Drama and Baba are here to make us master almighty authority. And so whatever situations are coming in your drama, they're showing you which of the eight powers you still have to develop. You have to become a master ocean. That's what testing is about. Testing is to increase capacity within us. And only when we have been tested and we know that that tolerance, that merging, that packing all up, everything is 100%. It's not going to show. Then we're ready. Because you've also got to test in different circumstances. So within this circumstance, I'm very tolerant. In this circumstance, I don't have that same power. So that's not good enough. And this is why drama will test us out um, in that way. Then I also don't agree with you that we take our old sun scars with us. I think they all get cleared now. The language that better uses is that. He says, why do you call these old sun stars my sun stars? He says that my sun stars, they're actually your original sun stars. Mm -hmm. And he calls the others Ravan's property, meaning they're the acquired sun star from the top mm -hmm. rate. So when Babi uses the word alloy, the meaning of an alloy is something that wasn't originally in the metal, but has been added to the metal. And so the deity soul must go back completely pure, back in the original stone, which is complete with all virtues, completely pure, 16 celestial degrees. So we go back pristine. And this is why there has to be the settlement through the Haramaraj if necessary um, to make sure that soul is going back in that state. And then there seems to be a tipping point at 12 celestial degrees. So Baba says 16 celestial degrees at the start of the golden age, 14 at the start of the silver age, and then we reach 12 at the start of the copper age. And at that point, we seem to feel something missing inside. So it's those four degrees, 12 to 16, that give us that experience of fullness. We don't even need Shabbat. We don't even remember Shabbat. 
as long as the soul is full, there are no vices. But the moment we have a neediness, we begin bhakti and we begin bragging. So it's the emptiness inside of the soul that emerges the memory of Shibada. Let me fill myself. And it's the emptiness inside of the soul that leads us to begin using the vices. And I presume at 12 degrees, we lose our ability to have children through purity and through yoga power. So the Bible says you come into the path of sin. And this is what the, we reach a point in the drama, the energy of the soul, where we can no longer continue our civilization without the vices. And so that's when Bada says the kingdom of God begins. It's fixed within the drama. It must happen. This is how the drama is. It was in last week's moral law where Bada says that some children say that uh, they wish that these hell didn't happen. But Baba said that that's the drama. It's half a cycle of heaven, half a cycle of hell. So it's, for me, the internal thing is that fullness diminishing and leaving a little gap within the soul. And all vices are linked with medias, they're linked with taking. So we change in Hindi, the uh, Baba says you change from devta, deity, to levta, the taking. And that's what the vices are about. So we begin the, we go from our karma, neutral karma, because where everyone is full, there's no give or take. But when there's an emptiness inside of us, then you lend them, which is, it's translated as karmic accounts, but literally in Hindi, lend them means give and take. So give and take begins. It's called the merchant pie, it's symbolized by the stomach. So we begin to Stomach means selfishness. So you begin, selfishness is the source of all devices. And in the golden and silver age, we are full internally and we have unlimited resources external. So there's no selfishness. So there's no vice. But we enter resource constrained environments from the cockpit. And so we have to by then think either I get or you get. Either this one gets or this one gets. So we enter a world of compromise and competition from the copper age analytics. And that is all part of this kingdom of life and using devices. So no, I, I have a different perspective that that's when, but it says Raven's property, the alloy begins to become mixed into the soul and you change from real gold into this mixture. Do you want to come back? <laughs> you really have a different um, perspective on, on the sun's cars because I, you know, Baba, Baba knowledge, I, I has to make sense to me. Baba will not say something that doesn't make sense. And for me, um, going back means if I have made little effort and you have made so much effort, um, karmas are clean, right? Going back, um, Baba does that process. But I always felt that if I had not worked in coming back to my original son's scars before going back, I didn't see that cleansing taking place in the sense that, yes, I have to go, my right? purity is what is important for golden and silver age. Um, Yes, the sun scars will impact the purity, but I always felt that that had to be dormant. Um, what I did not finish or the level of which it still remains. And the only thing really made sense is that when from copper age, we, we perform different actions because all of us being the same, pure, um, within golden and silver age, um, I, I would have think that, okay, all of us will start performing similar actions, similar vices, everything. But there's a variation in the in this, uh, vices that we do perform. And I, I was of always the belief 
So I really would need to contemplate a bit more on this, um, that what will trigger devices is what remain dormant and has now emerging again within the soul. Some, something is triggered. And as I said, for anger, you know, or whether it's the loss, something will trigger that on a deeper level to perform the action from somewhere going forward from copper age. So for me, um, I understand what you're saying, but I really have to go a little bit deeper within to understand when Baba says, you know, um, we come through the cycle, the gold and silver, we start performing action. But what makes us perform the different action? Because the environment is now the same in the sense for all of us. Um, it's now getting a bit um, tamu. And why am I being triggered in a different way to perform a particular action on a negative level? You know? So I, I really need to sit with Baba. I feel a little bit more. Because otherwise... Yeah. We are all different. So our mind, yeah. intellects, and styles are different. And even in the golden age, it's different statuses, different timing. It's just being pure does not make us all the same. So we're yeah. different even in the golden and silver age. Our karma is different even then. But mm -hmm. it's a karma because everyone is full. So when you're in that clan of Vishnu, it's the whole clan having that same sort of collective sanskar. Um, mm -hmm. But then from the copper age onwards, it's diversity. So my understanding of the vices is they're just uh, warping the corruption of love and of respect, all of the vices. So when I've got, you add selfishness to love, you add selfishness to respect, you get the vices. That's it. Um, so this is why it's a mix. Um, and we would even say that even within the vices, there's positivity. For example, um, if you've got your armed forces who are protecting your country, they are being violent, right? It's negative actions. But you will celebrate them because, or if the police officers are carrying guns to protect you from the criminals, so they are using the vices so you can be peaceful. You know, this, this is the complication of the island, but it calls it the flaws of rival. You have to use the vices in order to have peace, to have love. If you don't have attachments, you won't have love in your life. Right? If you don't use lust, you won't get married. Right? You won't have children. So, the clause of Radha are that in order to have love and to have respect and to have peace, you have to use the vases in the copper and iron. So everything gets warped and twisted. And then the other great force is bhakti. And so wisdom mm -hmm. gets warped because human beings think that they can know who God is and what the path to purification is. So these two great forces dominate the copper and iron and dragon and that thing. And it's a walking of us. We don't do that in the golden and silver age. So it's like a, the soul is like a clear vessel and the love, wisdom, respect, power just comes through like a clear tube. Um, whereas in the copper and iron age, our mind, intellect, and styles, it's not a golden vessel. So your love is still pure. Like Daddy Jenke used to give the example of a, you've got a glass of water. The water is very clean, but the glass is dirty. So when you look, it looks like the water is dirty. So you, the soul, you're still originally have those pure sun styles. But in body consciousness, as you express those sunscreens, you're needy, you've got all sorts of mixed behaviors and selfish motives. And as I was saying, nature is filled with the sunscreens of survival. So fear is a big driver 
in the copper and iron age. So your love will get warped as it comes out. So the soul that throughout the whole cycle is expressing love, wisdom, and power. I don't think that changes in the whole eight of four births. How we express it, that's what changes from soul consciousness and fullness to body consciousness and emptiness and selfishness. So I think Baba sees you in your original form, completely pristine. I don't think you will be carrying anything back to the soul world other than that. And this is why even Brahma has to wait. You know, we all got to go together. He has to even wait for the final subject, the last number soul, the rosary. He even he can't go back. But I don't think that this can be a variation of purity. Even the last number subject in his kingdom must be pristine, then he can go back as well. But then it is number wise in the attainment, the status. The, so that's where it becomes number wise, not in the essence of purity. Have a, have a think and let's chat in a few weeks. Yes. yes. Thanks for that interesting discussion. Would anyone else like to come in with anything? I'm Shanti again. That was a very, very interesting conversation. Um, but what you said in the end, and it's what I was thinking all along, that God is pure love. We in our original state is pure love. If we go back to that state, we would have absolutely no problems. Because I think because um, we, we come out of that pure love state, understanding that we have no control over anyone. We only have control over who we are. And if we stay in that state of love, we would not try to control anyone. We would not try to change anyone so that we could be happy because we are happiness in itself. We are whole as a soul. We are um, we are complete as a soul, and if we focus on um, on our own purity and our own love, we spread that vibration. Instead of trying to change someone, we can give an, an advice. You know, say, look, this is what I see. But each person has their own path, their own destiny. We are not in control of anyone. We are only in control of ourselves. And I think this is what brings on. The, the most frustration, the most unhappiness because someone else is not doing what we feel they should be doing. Um, so I look at it that way because we are travelers. We're just guests in this world. We don't know what we left behind. And the same thing with now, we would not know what we left behind, but to live in that pure state. And in that pure state, we spread that vibration. And even the ones around us will change into some sort of, of, of positive um way of life but I this is what was I think I had a big problem like that I would want somebody to change according to the way I feel it should change because I see this um if you do if if you continue the, the life you're living you're going to be hurt but that is not my part that is their part their destiny their I because I could leave this world tomorrow and they will continue um so the, the last part of what you brought in, I think, um, summarized the whole thing. God is love. I am love. We are all energy. And our energy is, is complete purity, complete um, love. And, and, and if we go back to that state, there will be absolutely no problems. Even in this time of Pradhan time, we will be okay. And, and that's my, um, my take on it, Nam Shanti. Shanti, yeah, thanks for that. I mean, I think that that's right. And I think Ambika Ben is half right for all the other selves. So um, one of the things I gave all of you to churn about this week was what is inheritance, what is income, and what is come, right? So we've been hearing from Baba a lot this week about remembering the days of our childhood, being a child means to be an heir. 
And my understanding is it's the Brahmin soul. So Bada uses this phrase in the moment. You go back with your hands full and everyone else goes with their hands empty. So my understanding is that all the souls who are not part of the deity religion, they don't go back with fullness, but they go back with purity. So they've cleared their accounts through this process down here. And then what Bada is saying is, all of you have yoga, spread your vibrations, like finish it all up for them. And then they will go back with purity, but they have not claimed their inheritance. Their inheritance is liberation. But your inheritance is the knowledge, the virtues, and the powers. So what the Brahmins are doing now is filling themselves with Bada. Secondly, Bada teaches us to create our own income. And we heard that from Devi Janki last week as well. Keep using everything in a worthwhile way and you will continue to gain success. So Bada says, just knowledge and yoga is not in. You have to use body, mind, wealth, time, thoughts, everything, energy, use everything. And then he multiplies. Today, Baba was saying, I am Shiva. I am the point. I am the decimal point. I multiply. I am the zero. So what's happening is the Brahmins are also earning an income. And this is the opportunity, the Brahmins. Karma, everyone performs. Good karma, everyone performs as well. So karma and blessing, souls of all religions, they can perform and they will claim their own status in their own way, in their own religion. But I think when souls come from those Copper Age onwards, they're not coming in that full state because in the previous confluence, they didn't fill themselves from Shababa. But the Brahmin souls are filling themselves and Baba says, you've got to become a master ocean. You've got to be full. You reach a point where you don't even remember Shibaba anymore because you're so full. You're equal to Baba in that fullness. And even Baba's last child, they might not be full of everything like to the level of Brahma Baba, but there's enough fullness that they don't feel any empty. So that original love, that original heat, that is there. And they're also in an atmosphere of fullness. So say, for example, you've got a careless brown who's not really bothering with them, with them, and morally and so on. But they recognize Baba. They love Baba. So Baba says he's got many children who are loving and they might be corporate, but they're not necessarily going to become equal power. But those souls, as soon as they incarnate into the vibration of the golden age, that, remember, we are being sustained by vision. So Mama and Baba's vibration is flowing through. So if you think about the Brahmins who go and meet Baba and Magadha, many of them could be sitting in that diamond hall, not really even understanding that much. Even. Like we hear this even in the Satara Muralis, where Baba says, make sure next time you bring these Brahmins, you've actually given them the course, that this would happen. But it's like part of Indian culture as well. Someone says, oh, I'm going to Mount Abu, and their neighbor goes, oh, okay, I'll come with you. They don't even know who they're going to. They're just not going. And Baba says in the morally that you brought people, they don't even know who Baba is, and they're sitting in front of Baba yawning, <laughs> and, and it can happen. So, but those souls, are, oh, man, maybe then they recognize Baba a little bit. Now, there's something there in their back from the beginning of the couple, they got one in front of Baba, they got one there into that. So what will happen is while they're in front of Baba, the atmosphere 
elevates their consciousness. So people will go to Madhavan, they'll go to retreat. They don't have that stage. They don't have that effort. But the atmosphere elevates their soul. This is what will happen in the Gurdjie. So the soul, they've not accumulated that much. But just by incarnating into the golden age, the atmosphere of Vishnu, the atmosphere of the eight jewels, it just elevates everyone up into that stage. So now is the time where we have to make the effort. But in the golden age, we don't have to make the effort. Even if you did nothing, you will still be in that elevated state. But the problem comes, and this is where Ambika Ben is right, that the problem comes when you enter the cult. Because you yourself didn't appear. <laughs> so once that atmosphere changes, and this is my point about the external atmosphere, putting the alloy into the soul, you haven't got that stuff. So you enter the corporate. And it will probably, I think what she's saying, disproportionate. It will affect a soul who's not accumulated. Whereas we look at Brahma Baba's story, even in his last birth, he is trying to practice concentration on Narayan from a young age. He has got those elevated sun stars. I was sharing yesterday about the eight jewels that they didn't really battle with mine. Uh, Baba says in the morning, his life, there's bonus of purity. Mama and Baba, they came to Shri Baba and they just recognized Shri Baba. They accessed Baba's energy. They pulled the power into themselves and they, their sun scars just went on. They didn't have a process of changing sun scars. They just pulled that energy and trent. And so that, that is because they are more powerful. So they got this capacity as a soul. So partly what Ambika then saying is correct. There is a difference. And it is shown from the Copper Age on this because we're dealing with the vices different. We're dealing with badly differently. But still in the, in the golden and silver age, there wouldn't be the latent impurity. There would be the soul in the pristine condition. But their accumulation, the capacity that comes into play from the Copper Age onwards. So then they come back to Baba and they're still can because they didn't create the sun stars in the first place, so making the effort. So maybe also in that need of the Um, Whereas Brahma Baba was doing that type of bad thing, Devi Janki would say that she felt she was doing bhakti with Brahma Baba for many births as well. And when um, one sister that she had put in charge of the kitchen at the London Centre, she liked her attention to detail. So Devi Janki was uh, like someone, uh, the way you prepare the whole had to be done in a very particular way with particular standards. And so she used to always say to the sister that you and me, we've done back in a temple together. Uh, because she felt there was the same sense scars of preparing the book for the deity. Um, and so there's all of that does make a difference in the copper and iron energy when it can help us when we come back to Baba. So I think it's all of that. Ultimately, I think everything just comes back to filling us. But interesting points. So everyone have a churn about it and you can come back to these points in future. I just want to add, um, I think it, it makes more sense to me now that when we say we are filling ourselves at confluence age, and the level we have filled ourselves will impact from copper age. Um, yes. And then it will make sense if you, when we say, and then, okay, we don't go back with any negative sun scars. We go back with the original. Because to me, there had to have been some type of difference happening from confluence age. 
thinking it is the sun stars. And you know, um, there was a recent class um, where Bridgemore and Bai was interviewed and for the double foreigners. And, you know, coming to the end, and he, they had asked him, um, why make effort? And he always get, they always give the example, if you need a glass of water, you, you wouldn't have it unless you do. And he said, and for me, that made sense. Um, it is each, Baba, whatever Baba says has to make sense. Baba will not talk nonsense. And it means that if it is each Brahmin at this time at Confluence, it is, we are now creating our own drama within this drama. So filling ourselves, whatever we do at Confluence Age, you know, we just can't just leave it and say, okay, Baba will do it for us. We have to make the effort. And that's the reason Baba says, make the effort. While we say our parts are fixed, within the drama, we are now fixing our part for the drama to come, you know? So many times so we'll say we can't change anything. But my thinking on that, where he said, Yes, we can. We fix in our drama to come. What has gone has gone. But to come, we are now creating our own drama within this drama. Yeah? Okay. Yes, exactly. So this is why I'd like you all to churn about inheritance, accumulation, and come. And so my understanding is we have to accumulate for the 84 births. And if we don't accumulate enough, it runs out earlier. So this is why uh, you end up with those differentiations. Um, whereas we saw with these eight jewels, their stock was so massive uh, in all of the subjects. So it's just, they're taking with them a huge stock. And look, look at Brahma Baba. He has been in constant yoga for this last 54 years and like not even having yoga for himself anymore. He's been just having yoga for us. So how much is that first narrow accumulate? And he says in the Moli, that even today is in the Moli, that he is the one who is the agent that engages us with Shabbat. Like without Brahma, no one knows Shabbat. No one can connect with Shabbat. And the agent always takes a commission. If someone is a matchmaker, they take a commission for matching this person or this person. So Brahma Baba is very clever. He has got his commission sorted. All of these Brahmins have connected with Shri Baba. He's engaged them with Shri Baba. And he's taking a certain percentage of all of that. So if you think about the accumulation of that worse marriage, this is why Shri Baba says, I couldn't come in any way. You know, the amount that that soul was accumulated um, for connecting all of us, sustaining all of us, for getting all of us to that um, stage. He got himself there very quickly. And he, everything he's doing is for others for so many years. How can any of us accumulate anything near that? It's just not even possible to get close. So this is that soul. We've got to understand that this is the first man. And then we see the accumulation of mama, the world mother. And Baba says, everyone's desires are fulfilled by this soul. So her vibrations are subtly filling so many souls. And so we won't get close to that. And so then eternally, they are the ones who become like your mama. So it's to do with you. But Baba will say the opportunity was there for them. And so in this way, we, we've got to understand it is number one, because that is how it has to be. But the souls of the other religions, when they come down, they're always coming down in need. Whereas the souls of the deity religion have half a cycle of jivan, when they are full, whether they accumulate it or not, it's an inheritance. So they didn't have to make the effort. They got an inheritance of you. And, and so they come down full in an atmosphere of form. And because nothing is empty, there's no bus. 
and a karma is our karma. There's no karma either. But then from the corporate onwards, they haven't got to stop. So the level of alloy impacts greatly, greater to extent. So this is what occurs. Okay, let's move on to Daddy's class now because I'm aware of time. And um, we're commemorating and enjoying this experience with Daddy Gulzar. You'll remember we watched her interview with um, Sister Jenkin uh, a few weeks, couple of weeks ago. And then we watched a class with Daddy Jenkin one evening. And then last week we had the opportunity to watch Daddy read the morning. And this one is when Daddy was at the London Centre on the 15th of May, 2011. And she is giving the class before we hear the morning. And because it's the Sunday class, it's a slightly longer class. And I think I attended this class, but I'd forgotten that she had asked Daddy Gulzar some questions. And in those days, she would always get Daddy Gulzar to telephone the London class and speak with them. But on this occasion, Daddy Gulzar has actually written to her. And she is sharing that with the whole class. Om Shanti. Good morning. Thank you, John. Since we last heard Daddy here in the auditorium, she's been to Manchester, Oxford, and then late last night back to London. morning this morning, but a bit of a chill in the air. <coughs> Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, everyone. Bene bai bolo Om Shanti. Good morning, Bhai Mira. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bhai. Golden morning, Bole. Should I say good yeah, morning? Diamond morning, or better. Golden you. morning, or would you say uh, that we are having a diamond morning? Baba ne, good morning. Kake jagaliya. Baba has awoken us, having said good morning to us. We too were sleeping. Baba ne jaga liya. Baba has woken us up. Jaga karke kya ka? And what did he say, having woken us Bache, up? He said, children, golden age mein jana hai. you want to, so abhi diamond to go into the golden age? Ban jao. Then become a diamond now. Hire jaisa janam. To have a birth like a Hire diamond. Jaisa janam. A life like a diamond. Not to lose it chasing after shells. Those are shells. Worthless things. But this birth, this life, is a spiritual life, a spiritual birth. It is the life in which we play with the jewels of knowledge. But we become careless, we go into wasteful matters, though we are aware, but we are careless. 
तो आज बाबा की मुरली सुनना ध्यान से सुनना कोई भी चीज उठे उठे बैठे नहीं क्योंकि यहाँ से उठते पर समझते क्लास सुन गया आज हम मुरली सुनी न सुनी बाबा अच्छी तरह से हमारा बाबा ध्यान खेचवाता है रियली ड्रॉइंग आवर अटेंशन वेरी वेल थ्रू द मुरली हमको अंगद में सिर्फ बनना है we have to become like kitni baatein hilane wali aaye because many situations will come that will try to shake us but we must not fluctuate achala dol banna hai shake we have to be immovable unshakable koi bhi kitni bhi achhi achhi baatein dikhave chala maan nahi ho raha hai someone may show us very good things but ravan maya bade chatur hai bade chatur hai maya ravan is very kabhi very very darane wala roop dikhate hai sometimes she shows us forms that are kabhi khenchne wala roop dikhate hai sometimes attractive forms abhi 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 achhe abhi abhi aise so sometimes we are very good sometimes as if as if we've wilted to be khabardar ho shar so now be cautious be alert be clever maya jeet banna ho we have to be the conquerors of maya to sukham checking karke so check yourself subtly kal sham ko yesterday evening bahut acha question answer chala there were very good question answers in grc oxford istiti apni achhi banane ke liye you know to to make your stage very good kya karne ka hai what is it that we have to do ab jo kuch karna hai bhi whatever we have to do मेरी स्थिति अच्छी है शान है मेरा इफ माई स्टेज इज गुड इट इज माई बातें कुछ भी होती जाएंगी इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट हैपन तो बाबा ने कहा है अभी बाबा सामने बैठा है साकार में एंड इन दिखा बाबा बात बजाते हुए हम सब बच्चों का माँ बाप बन के होते कितनी बाबा की वैरागवृत्ति संपूर्ण स्थिति भविष्य नारायण बनने वाली स्थिति भी अभी दिखाई पड़ी अभी दिखाई पड़ी him as narayan was obvious in baba as he to the banane ke liye so to make our stage a 72 that, ki mulya chal rahi hai we have 39 years ho gaya of 90 videshi wa ko 40 saal ho gaya itni palna mili hai ab palna and we received aaj ki muli sunenge na when you hear kitna baba meetha hai kitna pyara hai how sweet baba is how lovely he is kitna bola hai how innocent he is pyara hai he is so lovely bola hai innocent aur kya hai baba what else is baba sarva shaktiwan hai he is the almighty authority but the pavan hai he is the purifier father ज्ञान का सागर प्रेम का सागर भी है एंड ऑल्सो द ओशन ऑफ लव तो ये बाबा की जो महिमा है ना सो ऑल ऑफ दिस प्रेज दैट बिलोंग्स टू बाबा हम महिमा मुख से नहीं गाते हैं वी डोंट सिंपली सिंग दैट प्रेज थ्रू द स्माइल्स पर ब्रह्मा मुख से सुन करके बट हैविंग हर्ड दिस प्रेज ऐसे महिमा योग्य बन रहे हैं वी आर बिकमिंग वर्दी ऑफ दिस प्रेज पर आई ऐसी पर आ रहा है ही इज टीचिंग अस सच अ स्टडी नॉलेज फुल है ना ही इज नॉलेज फुल सारे हमारे बाबा में इन आवर बाबा द नॉलेज है द नॉलेज दैट एग्जिस्ट्स वो हमारे में 
अच्छी तरह से भर रहा है इज समथिंग दैट ही इज फिलिंग इन अस रियली वेल कल कहने का भाव ये था सो यस्टरडे योग लगाना हो योगी बनना हो ज्ञान का योग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम योग हर बात ज्ञान की हर बात एवरी थिंग ऑफ नॉलेज जो सुननी है दैट वी हमारे स्वरूप में हो गए शुड बी इन आवर फोम वी शुड इन बाबा टीचिंग आई एम सोम I am a soul. Me atma una. So this we have to imbibe. Me atma una. I am a soul, aren't I? Shari sambandhin ya hai na. The body is. Bhule kyu? On one side, relations of the body. Bagar bhul ja, mere ko yaad kar. क्योंकि why should we forget? Usko baba ko because baba ko bhul kar ke unko yaad karte hain. And remember me. Maro par pachamat. We forget Baba, and we remember all those Baba other things. Baba ko bhool unko yaad karte hain. De samajh jao. And we remember the body and bodily relations instead. Baba ke isko bhool mere ko yaad kar. Baba saying, forget all of that and remember. Kya baat karte hain? So what are you doing? Because yoga is still kaise mana hai? And we Are ask, how can I create a good stage? What is knowledge जो telling you? जो कोई कोई बात अभी भी हुई भूल मेरे को याद कर रहे हैं. So even if something has just happened, हम बात करके बात को याद करके भूल जाते हैं. But Baba we remember those things and we forget Baba. तो आज मैं ऐसे चलते चलते आंख दिखा के आई हूँ. So today as Daddy was coming to class, she showed a few people a stern eye. चलते चलते या बात आंख खिलाते हैं आंख दिखा रही हैं. She was giving almonds, but also to some she gave a stern eye. What can that be? Baba Sabha ke beech mein kya dete? Baba used to tell everyone in the midst of the gathering. Koi kehte, koi kal kehta tha. Yes, did you? Tumne mujhe dekha. Tumhara matlab kya tha mere ko dekhne ka? You saw me, but you saw me in such a way. What were you implying by looking at me in that way? What was your, what was your, what were you trying to say? Kya so na matlab? So that he was saying. Tumhi bato, main kya dekhte? You tell me why I was looking na. at you in this way. आप तो मैं ऐसे देखने में नहीं जाएंगी ना. I'm not just going to go away just like that. I'm going to look at each one. क्योंकि मैं चलते चलते. Because whilst walking, moving along. मैं कहती हूँ कोई घड़ी, कोई वेला, कोई That any can be any time any the Baba Samne na ave. There cannot be even a second that Baba is not in front of me. Sakar me. इतना अच्छा समझाया वो अभी अब जब तो करके समझा करके हमारी स्थिति बना रहा है. Baba explained so well. And now, having become a vyakt, he is teaching us so well. It's the banana mega dhyan hove na. A vyakt stage, an angelic stage. So when there's tension, so kitni bari baat hove na, then it doesn't matter how big a situation may be; it becomes very small. But bari baat banana ka bara cha. We know how to make matters clear. Where we may be, yeah, we know how to make matters clear. Where we may be, yeah, we know how to make matters clear. Where we may be, yeah, we know how to make matters clear. सोचने वाली बात है ना। We think, oh, this matter is something we need to think through. बाबा ने कहा कि अब बोझ असर पर रखो। Has Baba said to you to keep burden on your head? बाबा कहते हैं मैं तुम्हारा सब संभालने बैठा हूँ। Baba says, I'm here to take care of all of your things, all of your concerns. You simply have to remember me. एक सेकंड में बाबा बड़ी बात को छोटा कर देते हैं, जैसे कुछ हुआ ही नहीं। In one second, Baba used to make a big matter small as if nothing had happened. इतना बाबा हमारा रक्षक है। To this extent, Baba is our protector. तो रक्षक है कैसे? So how is he our protector? He is our protector when we 
imbibe his teachings. जो शिक्षाओं को पालन नहीं करता है ना, who don't imbibe Papa's teachings, उसको रुखिया का अनुभव नहीं होता है. They don't have the experience of his protection. बाबा की मेरी को बहुत संभालता है. बाबा बहुत संभालता है. कहीं कहीं ऐसे लिखते हैं. He really looks after me. पता नहीं कैसी बीमारी थी. Doctor ने क्या बोला? ये क्या था? मैं बिल्कुल ठीक हो गए. मेरे बेफिक्र है ना. Doctors had prescribed this. They had told me this thing would happen. And I became absolutely carefree. मैं तो बेफिक्र हूँ सुख्यम कहेंगे सचली we would say बाबा ये आपका बच्चा है बाबा this is your child अब आपको नहीं याद करता तो मैं याद दिलाने के लिए वहाँ उसके पास बैठी हूँ बाबा then daddy is with that soul sitting next to that soul to remind them of baba because daddy doesn't have anything else to do except to remind us of baba why is daddy still with us कल वहाँ बहुत थोड़े थे इज़राइल वाले परे 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 अच्छे थे परे अच्छे थे एक चार महीने से बाबा का बच्चा बना हुआ है पर मुश्किल है सुनते सुनते मुश्किल है सुनते सुनते ऐसे ऐसे मुश्किल है और सुती सी लाइन बैठा था कल पहली लाइन में बैठ गया बदुन नहीं हमारी जेंटी दीदी ने कहा दीदी है ना मरे भी तो जेंटी दीदी यहाँ क्या होगा यहाँ नहीं आएंगे क्या अच्छा don't you think it's important to come to London? ये तो हाँ जी कहने में बड़ा मज़ा है। So daddy says there's pleasure in saying yes। आप सब हाँ जी। Yes, that's all we have to say। हाँ जी। Yes to Baba। यानी बड़ी सिंपल रीति से। Actually it's very simple। सिर्फ हमको सैंपल बनना अच्छा लगता है। It's just that we like to become good samples। कई बाबा के बच्चे many of Baba's children sample दे करके सिम वो भी ऐसे बने हैं। The sample that is the example in front of them and they become अच्छी-अच्छी बातें बहुत अच्छी बातें हैं। So many many good things दे करके सीखे हैं। that they have learned having seen it in others. देखने वाल जिससे देखा ना उनसे भी अच्छा बन गया। So whoever they were seeing these things in, they became even better than them. जिसको अच्छा बनना है। So one who has the aim of becoming very good, they don't have any other desires. कितना अच्छा बनना है? इच्छा, desire. They don't have any desires except to become very good. So how good do we want to become? जो कुछ भी बात हो जाए, that it doesn't matter what may happen, चेहरा चमकता रहे, the face continues to sparkle, wonder कहेंगे, it's a wonder, पेस को कुछ होता ही नहीं, पत्थर हो गया, नहीं पत्थर नहीं बारसूं, then people think and they comment, this one's not affected, are they like stone? and no, not like stone at all, but like a divine तो एक बारी that makes everything divine. बाबा ने कहा था पर मुझे बाबा की वो बातें अच्छी लगती हैं बहुत अच्छी लगती हैं. Becomes divine. So one time we said Baba really likes this very much. बाबा की पास नाथ के रूप में बहुत अच्छी पूजा है. Baba's worship happens in a very good way. She Baba's worship happens in a very good way. पता नहीं था पास नाथ के दिन पूजा क्यों है. Paris Nath. अभियन बहुवा. The Lord of Divinity. अपने संग से लोहे से सोना बना दिया। How he makes iron into gold. Iron is his company. कल युगी संस्कार वाली आत्माओं को। Those who have the संस्कार्स of the iron age of कलयुग। कहाँ बैठे हो? Makes us like gold. So where are we sitting? Silver age में नहीं बैठे हो। We're not sitting in the silver age. अब we are not sitting in the copper age after the iron age, but golden age. But we are in the golden age. A golden age. Me, sitting. 
Diamond in the golden age in order to go into the golden age. We have the golden age in our consciousness. One time, that it was a great meeting, but there was a gathering in which there was very good spiritual chit-chat. There were perhaps eight or ten sisters. Parivatan bhot achhe, bhot achhe. And Daddy was seeing that the whole group had very real gold transformation. They looked like real gold. Then Baba said, check. And Baba said, check. Koi andar alloy mixed ho rahi hai. There isn't alloy mixed in the soul, is Kadi there? Kadi Baba ne gold bana diya apne sangha se. Though Baba has made us gold through his company. Koi alloy mixed ho rahi hai. Usle is special yoga karna honga. Just to see that there's no alloy there. For this you have to have special yoga. Yoga ko vishwaas ho, ye real hai, real hai, real hai. So that others have that faith and trust that yes. This is real gold. Guarantee say, I'm saying that I'm real, I'm saying that I'm real. And people give their guarantee, saying that yes, this gold is real. Who will say that? 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 अच्छा सबने कहा पर रियल है रियल है पर बाबा से पूछा बाबा अभी तो अच्छा हो गया ना रियल बन गया ना बाबा अभी कोई मिक्स नहीं और बाबा मेरा मीठा बाबा पास कभी बनेंगे पास का काम है लोहे को सोना बना और मैं बनी तो बस नहीं है क्या ना ना बच्चे बाप सम्मान है ना Pure gold, real gold, but what about becoming Paris? Baba, jitna prashad karo na, chhota nahi piche parta hai mare. To make others like you. Aisa piche paraye, piche paraye. So Baba's really after us. He really wants us to be happy. Baba ne aaj ka jo baat achhi lagti hai na. Baba said today, the things that you like. वो सारी समी बातें हैं ना खुश होते हैं अभी आ गया अभी संपूर्ण स्थिति भी आ गई आ गई अच्छी इतनी मेहनत की ना अच्छा अच्छा बहुत बाबा आपने अच्छा मुझे संभाला काम माया में चटकी लटकी नहीं and Baba, you've taken such good care of me that I haven't been chasing after Maya or dangling in Maya. I haven't turned my face around to see Maya. So Baba would say, yes, it's his duty. He has to take care of the children. So it's good that we haven't done those things of looking at Maya. So Baba has taken care of me and automatically will take care of the rest. If I make some excuse and forget the father and remember the situation, it's a big mistake, a big mistake. For this, there has to be a great mistake. ज़रासा so we have to see, check if there's even the slightest attachment. It will not allow you to stay in the awareness of Baba. Internally, that attachment will not give space for you to stay in the awareness of God, in the remembrance of God. Then, then, while keeping the final stage in front of you, be a real, a true, fast effort maker. It's very, very subtle. मैं तो किसको याद नहीं करूँ पर मेरे को भी कोई याद नहीं कर सकता खबरदार। I shouldn't remember anyone, nor should anyone remember me. Be very cautious in this. मैं कौन हूँ? Who am I? मैं कौन हूँ किसकी हूँ? Who am I? Who is it I belong to? तो सुख क्या मैं सामरा 
मन सा इतनी पावरफुल हो so, subtly, जो वो भी बाबा की माइंड शुड बी सो पावरफुल दैट अदर्स आल्सो बिलोंग टू बाबा सीइंग माय रिमेंबरेंस और मैं किसका ख्याल करेगी बाबा उसका नहीं करेगा मेरा भी नहीं करेगा थिंक्स ऑफ एवरीवन इफ आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट द अदर पर्सन देन बाबा विल स्टॉप थिंकिंग अबाउट मी बट बाबा इज मेरा भी नहीं करेगा तुम और का करो तो वो तो अंत में तो वो काम में आएंगे So Baba saying okay if you're thinking about others is that going to help you at the end in your Samandar final moments Baba ka bachcha wo So a sensible Baba child will as she marry think about these things and not just think of others So my stage should be so good at the end Jo yaad mein kitne fayde hai knowing all the benefits oh, there are in remembrance Lamba lamba acha acha and they'll have a list of the and benefits and sagar saman ban gaya so that they become like an ocean of experiences to become like a mine of experiences you know what a mine is like jitna khodo nikalta rehta hai nikalta rehta hai bichar pata nahi kahan se nikalta hai you able to get from that mine tabhi maine bataya tha waise kahan nahi jaati hu it's all there in the mind par koi aisi cheez hoti hai dekh There are so sometimes things that South Africa gayi thi. That people want Daddy to see when she goes to other countries. So One time when she came to South Africa, she was aware that they have gold Chal mines there, there. and they said to Daddy, "Would you see? Or Would you come jai? and see?" And Daddy said, "Yes, I will see." She hasn't been seeing things of tourist attraction in other countries, but. this place she saw and yeah. she saw how far you have to go down to see but how they remove the gold and the real gold to jitna andar sacha banenge na so the more deep you jayenge na aapke deep jayenge sach sach nikalega internally the deeper you go but the more usko sach ko samajhne wala baba it kitna sacha hai usko samajhne wala sacha so banta hai one who knows how true baba is become so sensible and so truthful you to say no preet and they will have no love to say no preet falsehood they'll have no love for Mais falsehood are some say Jout that hai. i have a little bit of love and daddy says are realize such a truth it is falsehood realize the difference between truth so, and abhi aaj bata diyo fir कभी बताती कोई शक्ति चाहिए कभी कोई शक्ति चाहिए so don't go into expansion so kal ne ke baad so yes ek karm parkhne ki shakti chahiye one aspect that was discussed was was the power to discern realize it itni buddhi nahi hai kya loss this will bring benefit don't you Agar have aisi buddhi nahi hai understand this much parkhne ki shakti nahi hai don't you have that kabhi bhi dhoka kha sakta hai dhoka de sakta hai then you can be deceived at any time and you can deceive others too maya do ke baad hai so maya really is very deceptive mera so my valuable hai but my mera is valuable personal main apne liye kehti hu mera so my for myself personally my hai. time is valuable samay so hai we have time past is past ko karne ka and it's the Present time to future say banane past ka. is past and learn to make the future very good through the Some present the past is past the past is the Present's past name. and future hamare haathon mein aa jaye let me bring my future into my own hands us haath mein kyun kehte hai why do we say into our hands present hamare haathon mein aa jaye because the present kyun kehte hai is in our hands why do we say that sesh karma se because it's with elevated actions present that our present is very good to ek second bhi so even one second pehle man sa mein khayal aayega fir vaani mein aayega fir karma mein aayega first the thought enters and then it comes into words and then 
into my actions. So subtly see my thoughts. If there's some waste there, even a little bit of waste, one is not able to perform elevated actions. Sometimes there will be elevated actions and other times it's actions that don't make any sense. But realize the destination is very high and we definitely have to reach it. But now it's that the destination is very close. It's not that we have to go there, but it's very close to us. We simply have to prepare ourselves to get there. So who's going to make that preparation? Who's going to take us with him? Yesterday in the Murli Baba said, all souls will fly like a swarm of flies. Will I also fly in this way? At the time of leaving, all souls will go together. The, their part will be over in the drama. But how is it that I would like to go? listening to such things from Baba. I think to myself sometimes that you don't really listen to the uh, Murli with close attention. But what happens? You think, okay, now that Murli is finished and we're going to go for a stroll, a walk, and they don't have time to revise the Murli. There isn't the time to listen to the Murli with attention, but instead they're looking at their watch. So I don't know, there's so much carelessness, so much carelessness. You don't even think about the difference between a royal status and the status of a subject. Nowadays, Baba doesn't relate so many of these sort of things. So I'm not going to tell you those things, otherwise you will become afraid. I'm not telling you these to make you afraid. But the value of time, the things that you have to do, do them now. Don't tell me about what you're going to do tomorrow. Don't talk to me about those things. Or for some reason, if anybody has felt sorrow for me and they have become distant, then I fold my hands in front of you and ask you for forgiveness. Because Daddy doesn't want anyone to feel unhappiness, sorrow internally. You need to study well for yourself. Baba is giving so much in his inheritance to you, all you have to do is take it, not to give some reasons. It's Baba who is giving everything, it's not that we are giving to each other. If I make effort, no one can steal that from me. Make honest efforts for no reason. Should there be any slackness in our effort? So be cautious and I say out of love to all of you, this time that is for making effort, let us make such effort. The main thing at this conference age is that whatever actions I perform, others will see and follow. So in this, who is my helper to perform good actions? Who will be my helper, my companion in this? Because it's very easy to become companions in performing ordinary actions. Okay, people will help you in service, in making programs, but in making real, honest, true effort real effort, the kind of effort that Baba wants to see. So that asking little Hansa Ben to bring the letter uh, that Daddy Kulsar has sent to Daddy Chanki. Daddy doesn't write in Sindhi or Hindi or in English, she simply signs. 
दादी चैन की हिस्ट्री से लेटर टू दादी सर that daddy i told the daddy class ne that you're not coming and everyone's faces aur par mujhe jo do shabd baba pyar par ikrar di pehenta hai na jiske aadhar se chal rahi ho baba gives me so much love and i wrote that separately to par maine aaj ki moli par the mix me move along through that love and then reading today really i said oh par kaise sunayenge to main aur to koi mere se baat chit nahi karta hai and she was saying that you have a conversation with me about for my progress um wo bhi time de diye hai progress but wo bhojan ka ke uthe ki maine khaya ya nahi kya pata hai ki nahi with me bale aa sakti ho she can't then mai kahi bale aa sakti ho daddy chan ki in the day time she lengi daddy mai abhi aa ho aaun नहीं तो उसके पास क्यों लगी रहती है पर तू क्यों को चेहरा दे के पैर मैं भी क्यों को छोड़ करके दादी को चली जाती हूँ अच्छी अच्छी बातें मेरी सुनती है जो कुछ बाबा को कराना है verified to kare ki mam baba wants me to do i have that verified through dadi ko sir who else can i ask meri ek dadi prakash mai dadi to matlab se baatein karti hai apna kaam kar rahi hai she is doing her work kya tu dadi batao na kaha ho kehti kyu batao kaha ho mai kaam to apna kar rahi hu na तो मधुबन में वो अपना काम तो कर रही है दादी जी वेर आई यू प्रैक्टिकल साकार में दादी भी कर रही है साकार में भी मेरे साथ अब जब बाप दादा का और पार्ट प्ले कर रही है पर मेरे सखी को यहाँ है कोई कौन है मेरा शी इज प्ले नहीं she is saying jainti didi has come dekho why she sit here she aayi goliyat pe bage mukh mein nahi dali dekha daddy she is saying she had a cough and she took the cough sweet in her hand and she forgot to put it in her mouth she is just holding on to it ye kaise kisi ka maal hai this is the one par kon na dekh mere ko dekh baba kehta mere ko dekh 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 baba keep saying see me see me see me don't look at anything else don't look at yourself oh, yeah. just see me now she's put the cup sweet in her mouth kisko sunao ye baatein jainti didi ko time nahi hai thoda i say who can i share Karo my things with jainti didi doesn't have time she has Morin too much Karo business to deal time. with morin also has too much business to deal with अच्छा सुनो ओके नाउ लिसन टू दिस लेटर बाजू में आओ ना बाजू में आओ ना आओ ना बाजू में शी इज इनवाइटिंग जेंती दीदी टू कम ऑन द स्टेज एंड सिट नेक्स्ट टू दी देखो चेहरा कैसे यहां तुम आओ या हंस आवे जेंती तो यहां आओ हंस यहां आती है सो दिस Jinti Ben and Hansa Ben, little Hansa. Hansa Sani Wali is ban gayi hai. Both coming on the stage now, and Hansa Dekha Ben daan, has become very entertaining. Daddy, and as Nadi said na. that, so Daddy Guzal um, wo kabi talikhi. She's saying she's smiling. Wo bhi Hindi mein bandh raha hai waha file mein. And um, to relate a poem in a little while. Something else in Daddy Guzal ko bhi likhi thi. So, a poem that Hansa has written for the Gujaros. Okay, now the letter. Atisi ki ladi. Baak tadas. Aapke sadhe ke mere ko mila tha. Aise nahi milta. All of you are that. I'm only receiving this as a blessing Bilki because dulari. of all of you. The beloved child. Dadi Jan ki ji. Aur sarva sabse saathi sakhiya. Dadi Jan ki ji and so, all na? her service companions. Are you listening? All the service companions. That is worthwhile. आप किसने बड़े पत्र मिले? 
बहुत बहुत दिल की शुक्रिया so, जो आपने इतनी सर्विस की चक्रवर्ती होते भी याद किया यू आर सच जो आप तो अनेक आत्माओं को दिल खुश हैप्पी हार्ट खिलाए खुशनुमा बना रही है अपने शरीर को चेकिंग कराने में बिजी हो गई एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ माई बॉडी लेकिन वहाँ भी डॉक्टर्स की सर्विस अच्छी हो गई अनेक डॉक्टर्स को डॉक्टर द डॉक्टर्स द थॉट ऑफ डॉक्टर्स वैसे भी लंदन वालों की याद तो बार बार आई रिमेम्बर द लंदन फैमिली एंड अगेन रिमेम्बर द लंदन फैमिली अगेन एंड अगेन सो वॉट जाना चैरिटी हैव यू डन टू रिसीव दिस लेकिन ड्रामा में पत्र द्वारा ही मिलना रहा है हमारी सेवा साथी सखियों को एक एक को नाम सहित यात्रा देना साथ में सर्व लंदन वासी हमारे परिवार के साथियों को भी यात्रा देना और आगे तो मिलते रहना ही है बट यस ऑफ कोर्स वी विल कंटिन्यू टू मीट इच अदर इन द फ्यूचर So in this way, she's consoling us that she's not able to come this time. Aap kolan nawasi, band bhaiyon ko, Charles Wells ki ceremony ki, bahut bandh bara ko vadhaiya ho. Heartfelt congratulations to all of you. Sabko baapal ke taraf se dil ka dilar dilar, dil ka yad pyar ho. Accept love and remembrances from the heart from Bap Dada. Aha, but also. आपकी शायरी से आपकी याद दिल की मिली कैसे हो ठीक दिल में नाचते शिवा कर हार्ट आंशु फिर दादी ने मेरे को लिखा है दादी हेज रिटर्न टू मी दादी जी आपको बाबा ने बहुत प्यार दिया दो शब्द बोले हमें दो शब्द मुझे जब निकलती हूँ ना लिखत में चिटकी देती है वेन एवर आई लीव मधुबन शी गिवस मी अंडर पहला विद अ फ्यू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम बाबा फर्स्टली रिस्पन भाई सुन रहे हो ना अनुभव हो रहा है ना शक्ति भवन सामने है ना आपके बच्चे सदान दिल में समाने वाले दिल का सच्चा ही रहा है You are the one who merges Sushra, everything in your heart. Sadan nishchit vijay ratan hai. And so you are the uh, nishchit real diamond in Baba's heart. Vijay ratan hai. You are the Asana. real diamond. Tisra and kadam me padam jama karne me padhi na. You are the one who is very good at accumulating everything. And next point, Kisi you are the one ka, who uses for every breath in a worthwhile way. That is relating the uh, um, something of one person who had some kind of breathing difficulty and was re hyperventilating, you know, doing a lot of um, breathing fast, and uh, it's possible for that to. Become quiet and steady and normal. बहुत अच्छा है बाबा सिखाता है. Baba teaches us अच्छा. in a very good way to be able to do this. पत्र लिखाया था यहाँ से. So the letter that I had dictated here for Daddy. तो दा तारीख आज एक पंद्रह है. It was dated the fourteenth. कल पहुँच जाए तो दादी जो आपने कहा. So it's reached her fast and she's also sent the reply. और दादी ने भी चौदह को लिखा है. Yes, so Daddy. Bandar also wrote back on the 14th. So as soon as she received my letter, she wrote back. Hum sab ye dil se nee 
हमारी मीठी मीठी दादी गुलजार कल हमने आपको याद पत्र भेजा था यहाँ जब क्लास में सबको सुनाया दादी तबियत के कारण लंदन नहीं आ रही है तो सबके आप सबकी यादों में समाये हुए थे हमें तो मीठे बाबा ने शिवा के बंधन में बांधा है तो ड्रामा का भी कितना मीठा बंधन है ड्रामा का बंधन है कल मानचेस्टर से मैं से आई हूँ बाबा को जो बहुत बड़ा भवन मिला है वह देखने जा रही हूँ सभी जो जोर शोर से त्याज कर रहे हैं अठारह तारीख का ओपनिंग है यहाँ पर एक हमारा ऐसा फोटो प्रिंट कराया हुआ है जिसमें आपको बाकी पहनी हुई हुई हूँ दोनों का बड़ा अच्छा फोटो है जैसे बाबा के बच्चे को ऐसा फोटो खेच लेते हैं मुझे तो ऐसे लगता है जैसे आप मेरे साथ साथ हो अंसा कहती है आप में पांच आत्माएं है मैं तो आपके साथ बहुत बट आई फील आई एम विथ यू ये हंसा मेरे साथ थक जाती है मुझे भी अनुभव होता है जैसे मम्मा बाबा दीदी दादी और आप पांचो ही सदा मेरे अंग संग है बाबा और ड्रामा और आता रहता है बाबा को जो सेवा करानी है अपने आप करा रहा है हम कटुपा को नचा रहा है आपकी तबियत ठीक होगी आज आप दिल्ली में होंगी हमें फोन पर सुनने में नहीं आता है सुने पर याद दिल्ली के भाई बहनों को भी याद देना and remembrance of and 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 love and remembrances to the delhi brothers and sisters so at that Kaun time konsi shakti hai in me hansa uh, uh, has uh, written the next part and nee, hansa wants rahen. to relate it herself to so daddy ye daddy ko likh diya waha so she sent this to the stuff there and they then go into some songs and poems and things like that that we got a chance to really hear daddy directly giving that powerful class you can see how powerful both uh, the cheers and also on the 40th anniversary of the service center at beginning in london that he was our center of her remembrance so. Would anyone like to just share any final reflections of today's classes? You know, I like what Daddy said in her letter. You know, she has five souls with her. You know, so she constantly keep, you know, Baba, um, Mama, um, Daddy Gulsa. You know, so really, is is their power as well always with her. And I found that was a um, a sweet thing to see. Yes, it was part of the because Dad, Daddy is very tireless, and she had two Brahmanis caring for her, but they were constantly busy. So to be with Daddy meant you you keep you go you're on the go twenty four hours a day because she's so active herself. And then said that had this joke with Daddy that I'm only one soul, but you've got five souls with you. That's why you're tired, Max, and you can just keep going. But I'm getting tired, so that made Daddy check up. That is fine. I think it's a class worth going over. Um, the Daddy class. Uh, some of the the audio was kind of lost because the translation was a bit soft so 
I, I would need to go back through that class with her. Well, um, Daddy really teaches us a lot, like point by point, what are the different principles and also how we've got to think about ourselves. So it makes it very, very powerful as to how do we need to think and keep an aim and attitude. I think the main point that stays with me is we know of her three questions that she asks herself a hundred times a day. Who am I? Who do I belong to? What do I have to do? So she was saying that we should keep the aim that we are in that atmosphere so much within ourselves. Who am I? Who do I belong to? That the atmosphere I spread of that makes others belong to that just through the vibration. And I think that was very powerful, that to have that internal awareness so powerful that others then begin to belong to Baba through that. Okay, so we had another rich session today and lots to think about, lots to churn on. I'll leave it with yourselves to churn on those things. And because we're traveling the next couple of weeks, we might not have these Saturday sessions for about three weeks, but I'll keep you all posted um, and we'll meet again soon. So great to have you here and also warm greetings to those of you watching later on on YouTube too. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Bye-bye. Best of luck on your journey. <laughs> See you soon. Sure. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Salva, good to see you.